Over a decade ago, Billy Graham challenged a group of evangelicals to reach the unreached people groups of the world. And a new organization was born out of that conference. Their goal, go to the places where the church has not and fulfill the Great Commission. Today, there are more than 2.3 billion people in the world who call themselves Christians. There are 5 million churches, 43,000 denominations, and 12 million Christian workers. Yet 99.7% of all ministry financial support goes to building and maintaining the existing church. Only 0.3% is spent on extending the reach of the church. What about the Great Commission? God's command is clear. Go and make disciples of all nations. What is our progress? Have we been obedient? At this time, there are 4,000 languages with no written or oral scripture, 3,000 people groups with no missionary, and 1 million villages with no church. But the Great Commission can be fulfilled by working together and using our influence, expertise, and resources, we can extend the church and reach the world. Well, joining us for more on this is Pat Murdoch. He's the executive director of the Issachar Initiative. They're an organization dedicated to fulfilling the Great Commission. And Pat, welcome. And, Thank you. And why is that number, I mean, it's a, it's a shocking number that 0.3% actually goes into mission work. Why is that? Yeah, I think many of it, much of it is about awareness. Mm -hmm. When you ask the average Christian on the street, fully committed, totally surrendered to the Lord, is a great commission important? They'll say yes. And then if you say, so how are we doing with that? You know, who hasn't heard? What languages don't have the scripture? What people groups don't have a missionary? Where is there no churches? They have no idea. And it's not that they don't want to know. They don't even know that they can know. Their church is working really hard. They're trying to reach their neighbor, but they're unaware of what is happening in Samaria and in the ends of the earth. I'm, I'm, I know you're a student of mission history. I am. You, you look back at the student volunteer movement of 110 years ago, and, and you look at the great promise that in our generation, sure. we can take the gospel to every nation, and the educational effort with that, the a tremendous outpouring of missionary effort. Do we, do we need another student volunteer movement? Yeah, we, we need people to be engaged. And whether that's students or it is our, the older generation, everyone has a part. Everyone has some f talent, treasure, and influence that they can use to drive people to the places where there is no church and where people still haven't heard the name of Jesus. So we need everyone involved. And it is the assignment that the Lord left us to go and make disciples of all nations. So we need to all be concerned with that. Yeah, it's the Great Commission. It's not the Great Suggestion. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us about the Issachar Initiative. I mean, you know, Issachar, the men of understanding yes. who could tell Israel what to do. Right. Uh, what, what do you do? Yeah. Well, we do three things uh, primarily. Two things to see a third thing happen. Mm -hmm. We're trying to bring vision and clarity to the unfinished work of the Great Commission. And then we're, we're becoming a trusted source of aggregated data from the networks. So where are the gaps? What are the 4,000 languages? We know them by location, name, population, and, and what needs to be done. We know the people groups where uh, we know them by population and location and name. So we have the roadmaps. A lot of people just don't know they exist. So what we're doing is bringing that information to bear for the, the big C church and so that more people and resources can be mobilized to the places where we haven't been. That's one of the keys in the Bible. The tribe of Issachar always had the tribe of Zebulun yeah. right next to them. Sure. Zebulun provided the resources sure. for Issachar to understand the times. And I think we need more from Zebulun to, to, to finish the task. Sure. What, what, what would you say is the top unreached people group today? Yeah, it was, I would say that if you were to look at populations of 100,000 or more, many in the millions that still don't have missionaries and scripture in their heart language, that over half of them are located in northern India. Right. And, um, and it's, it's staggering when you look at the number of people that, that don't have uh, what's needed to hear that Jesus died for them. Yeah, that's a place that's mm -hmm. very dear to my heart. Yeah. Uh, I call it the Hindi belt. Amen. And you have less than 0.1%, 0.01% Christian. Mm -hmm. 
um, and hundreds of thousands of villages with right. no Christian church and no Christ Christian That's right. witness. That's right. um, and it's uh, it's difficult, but not impossible. It, it is it is very possible. In fact, many believe that in our generation we will see the missional aspect of the Great Commission completed and fulfilled. And we're also quick to say it doesn't mean if we do A, B, and C, then Jesus comes back because we don't know the time uh, or the place of when that will happen. But at least we can be found. Well, we know the precondition. Right. That's, that's right. That's <laughs> There's right. There's a precondition. This that's gospel the, of the kingdom will be preached as a witness, and then, and then the end will amen. come. So it, it's it's literally up to us. That's right. Uh, he's empowered us, and, and the amazing thing <clears throat> is he actually trusts us to do it. <laughs> that's right. You know, if it were, if I were God, I'd be sending angels. Yeah. Uh, but God didn't do that. He <laughs> says, right. I want to send my children. That's good. Uh, and I, I want them to do it for yeah. me. So there are ways that we're getting the message out. One is through Issachar Summits, mm -hmm. where we gather leaders, marketplace and ministry leaders to come. It's a TED conference on the Great Commission, 20 speakers, 10 from the marketplace, 10 from the ministry pioneers, representing all the workers in each of the areas of the Great Commission that are, need, that are being worked on. And then we have a curriculum called Count for Zero. And that's sort of our challenge statement at mm -hmm. Issachar, is we want people's lives to count for zero which doesn't sound like much, but the idea is that one day there would be zero languages without the scripture, zero people groups without a missionary, zero people that haven't heard the gospel, uh, zero villages and neighborhoods without a church, and zero oral preference learners without an oral Bible. And that's another important mm -hmm. topic that a lot of people aren't aware of, and uh, that two-thirds of the unengaged, unreached people groups are illiterate. So even if we get them a Bible printed in their heart language, not it's of no use for them. So how, what are the efforts that we need to make to make sure there are oral tools for oral cultures so they can receive the gospel in a way they can understand it and, and receive Jesus as their Savior? How can people get involved in one of the summits? You can go to our website, issacarinitiative.org or countforzero.org, mm -hmm. and there's a, a, a tab called Summits. Our next summit is in Dallas-Fort Worth on October the 7th. It'll be one day, 20 speakers. Uh, it'll be an amazing day. Uh, people in Dallas are already rallying. I was at a mobilizer meeting this week with 60 key leaders, rallying the leaders in their community to come and hear what is left to be done. And you're, and you're offering the curriculum, the Count to Zero, for nothing. For free. For free. Yeah, we, it's a tool. We are a servant body to the global church. We don't raise money for Issachar. In fact, you can't give money to Issachar. Mm. We are ministry neutral, just trying to raise the banner of Christ. Count for Zero can be downloaded for free at our website. Uh, again, you can go there and find it in the Count for Zero tab. All right. Well, thanks for what you're doing. Thank you. And, God bless you. Uh, let's mobilize the church. Let's Wonderful. Let's get the job done, and we can do it Amen. in our generation. If you want to get a link to how you can get this free download for Count to Zero curriculum, all you have to do is go to cbn.com, and you can find out more about the Ishakar Initiative there. So thank you for being with us. Thank you, thank, Gordon. Thank you for all, all you're doing.